Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Channel. I'm the dude and we're about to play Dinkum. Good day, mate. I can't do it. Um anyway, guys, I don't know why I'm drawn to this game, but I am. So it's like a little survival Animal Crossing kind of game. We're gonna jump in and have a go. I've briefly played Animal Crossing with my kids on the Switch. I don't really know much about it. Um I don't really know what we gotta do, but let's go. This seems to be multiplayer too, so oh, we get to make our character. I think we'll go with that. Uh, should we uh, look like me? Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Uh, what? No, we'll go with this. Um, um. <laughs> Shocked face. That'll do. Oh wait, eye colour. Got to be brown as well. Can we can we have a beard or have we got to be young people? Little nose. Hey, what's my nose like? Is that kind of like normal? Like I say normal, like a average size nose. I don't know. Why are they all sort of square? Like triangle squares. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. I'll go with that one. In my mouth. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to have I like a little mouth. I've got a little mouth. Okay, I don't think I can have a beard. Uh. Oh, hang on, wait. Oh no. So black or blue, and then everything else or pink. Everything else is like a different shape or color. Or I gotta admit, I think if you're in Australia, you don't really want to be wearing black, do you? So we'll just go with that. What's your name? What's your name, William? What's the island's name? <laughs> Anyone guess? Dude lands, create character. Okay, that's that's me. That's baby me. A long time ago, everything went south. Oh no. Almost everybody was forced to move to South City. The people of South City live cold and miserable lives. That's why they're all grey. You were born here. Oh no. Most people have no desire to leave. But you do more than anything. And you might have found a way out. Help wanted. Looking for a young go getter to accompany me to my old home, Dude Lands. Voyage and accommodation will be your initial compensation. I did not get time to read all that. Anyone interested probably apply somewhere. You leave for Dude Lands today. This is me, my little grey outfit. Nanny's got colour. I assume that's Nanny. Or is that the person we're travelling back with? I don't. Oh, it probably is actually. I thought it might be our Nanny. It might. We're on a blip. We're going. Boop, boop. Look how boring this place looks. Oh, colour. We are now flying over Dude Lands and we'll be landing shortly. All passengers, please prepare to leave the airship. Alright, jump. Oh, oh, oh. I assume it will be WASD to move around. Hopefully it gives me a little tutorial. It seems like it's going to be child friendly. Hello, Nanny. I'm going to call you Nanny. Fletch. Looks like we've landed. I'll tell you what, I'm so glad you decided to accompany me on this adventure, dude. I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. When you were the first and only person to respond to my ad, I knew you were the right person for the job. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, look at old Fletch waffle on. Let's get cracking, dude. I'll see you outside, okay? Okay. Okay. WASD. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeesh. The mouse does nothing for me at the moment. Hold on. Aha, there we go. Fletch. Wow. Smell that fresh air. I'll tell you what, it feels good to finally be back on Dude Lands. Now, dude, I'm going to need your help getting settled, okay? I'll give you this base tent. Take your time and find a good place for it. It'll be our, like, our 
it'll be like our town hub. Oh, like a big tent, is it? Take this map as well. If you have any questions, please just ask me. I haven't been back to Dudelands for a very long time, but I think I can still be helpful. I'll be waiting by this dock until you set up base tent. So, if you get lost, just check your map to find the dock again. Good luck, dude. Thanks, Fletch. What's that? Oh, that's the tent. I've got a tent. Island map. Pins can be placed on it to mark points of interest. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the mouse really does nothing. Move camera. Oh, no. So to move the camera is the middle mouse. I'd rather that be inverted, I think. That feels weird. That is inverted. What am I saying? Um. Okay, let's go. Can we sprint? We can jump. Yes. Oh no, hang on. We gotta do the. Wait. What? Oh, oh. Settings. There we go. We wanna have the go control. Yeah, controls. Can I change them? Um. Excuse me. I guess not. Oh, hang on, wait. Invert X, invert Y. Inv yeah. Oh, hang on, we've done it wrong. We've done an injustice here. Let's invert both of them. Why does that feel so weird? Ugh. Hold on, hold on. Let's take this one off, maybe. Oh, that that's bad. Okay. Dogs. Woof. Dingoes. Oh, okay. I pick it up using the mouse, so I need the mouse. I'll pick this up. Scallop shell. What do I need to do? I've got to go put this down somewhere. I mean, this looks like it's going to be a nice big open clearing. Just, let's just do it. It's just a good place for the base tent. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Of course it is. Hello, Fletch. So this is where you decided to build, huh? It's absolutely perfect. Our new home here on Dude Lands. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you too. What? I don't get this one? I know it's not much, but it'll be a place you can call home. Now, there's plenty of room to spread out here on Dude Land. You don't want me living near you, do you? So please take your time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit, so keep that in mind while you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come and speak to me once you've placed your tent. Thank you. Just got rid of one of these. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. I live here. I'm not too far near you, are my granny? Sorry, not granny. Open pockets. How do we open pockets? What does open pockets mean at the top there? What? Huh? Talk to Fletch. Okay. Okay. Fletch. Goes in and out nice. You found a good place for your tent? I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. I'll tell you what, you've got the spark, dude. You see, most people back in South City are scared of leaving. There is something about that place that pulls the spark out of people. But I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the traveling trader, John? No. I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. Rumour is he traded a paperclip for a steamboat once. Trading is in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left South Sea. He's interested in visiting 
with his shop here. Tell you what, we can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get this visit in the site deed ready for him. That way we'll have a place ready for any visitors who come to Dudelands. I'll let you decide where the best the best place for this visit in the site deed is. Just be sure it's close by. We want visitors to feel like a part of Dudelands community while they're here. Who knows, maybe we can convince him to set up a permanent shop here. Be sure to talk to me once you have placed a visit in site deed. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to have to put it right, like, here. Yes, I've decided this little area is here. What do I... Oh, I've got to talk to her. Talk to Fletch. Fletch, my main grand. So, we're all set for visitors, huh? Well done, dude. We've only been here for a little while, but you've achieved so much already. Yeah, plus put down two tents and a and a box. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Dudelands, you know. He was a true blue adventurer, through and through. He loved doing things, new things, and keeping track of all his milestones in his adventurer's journal. I wanted to come here and try and meet those milestones myself. Did you just cough something at me? But I'm getting a bit long in the tooth, dude. All right. Please, I want you to take this adventurer's journal. Please keep good care of it. This is your adventure now. All right. Stop giving me stuff. Filled with milestones. That journal means a lot to me. But I think my dad would be glad someone like you is looking after it. But I have a challenge for you, dude. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there is no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to the journal. These will be smaller milestones that should be easy to complete in just one day. For now for the good part. For every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permit points. I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permit points eventually. But we can talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find that you've actually completed some of the milestones inside. So be sure to claim them. Alright. Now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's just about lunchtime. I've seen fruit growing around this island, and that sounds tasty. You go and find us some fruit, and when you get back, I will show you how to craft a campfire. I'm going to have a look at my book, thanks. Camper, yeah? I claim something. We got, what are these? Money? Woo! We got money! We gotta get some fruit. Hello, these quandongs. I got you some quandongs. Are these fruit? She didn't tell me what the fruits were called. So they might well be quandongs. I'll take these to her and see what she says. I have a quandong for you. Oh dear, don't tell Fetch that. What about these? Oh, you found something to eat. Eating food will help keep your energy up. Here is the recipe for a campfire. I found these stones earlier, so you can use these to craft your campfire. You'll have to find some wood yourself though. Feel free to use the crafting table in the base tent to craft a campfire. I assume it's that. Take your time, dude. When you are done, come and have a chat with me. I have a gift for you. You have so much for me, lady. Thanks for the stones. New crafting recipe. Ooh la la. Crafting table. Campfire. Craft me what? I need some... Oh, I need gum logs. Wait. Gum logs. I'll go find some gum logs. Hey. Hey, you. Do you want a Kwandong? Look at me when I'm trying to give you Kwandong. Right, you, can you show me where the logs are? There's a bone. I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can use it to give to these dogs. Hey, 
はいはいはいはいはい自分ですねえ、あれはいいです。OK。はい、じゃあ、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。あしたは、ログインしてみましょう。Can I have this? Oh no, there's a gum log. Another one. Yeah. What's this? I'll take everything that's not nailed down. This is true survival stuff. We're going for it. Let me go. Um. Right. Here's me gum log. Oh, we've got to go in here and try it. Excellent. Okay, let's have a look what we're doing. Craft me a campfire. Whoa! Done. Okay, let's go outside. Uh, here it is. Where do I want to be putting it? It's mine, so uh, maybe I'll take it to my house. Yeah, I see how it's going to be. I see how it's gonna be. There we go. What do I do? What do I do with it? I gotta go speak to Fletch again? It's Sunday the 1st of summer. Oi, Fletch. I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today, dude. I think there is a great future for us all here at Dudelands. Here is a gift for helping me out so much. It's a bug net. Ooh, yeah. I think you should take the rest of the day off. Thanks. Maybe you could go catch some of the bugs around here. Or maybe you could just cook some of that fruit you found. Oh, we get... Okay. I'll find something to do. Oh, and before I forget, take this sleeping bag too. When you get tired, pop that on the ground and have a lay down. I'll tell you what, a good night's rest will do us both good. Thanks for the help today, dude. Can't believe we're on dude lands. I couldn't have done... Any of this without you. Catch those creepy crawlies. Let's go then. Well, sleeping bag. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a bird. Got a nut. Let's get them. There's one. Wow. Caught a harlequin butterfly. I'll catch a dog. <laughs> nope. I'm on fire. Oh my god, I can't sprint. Quick! Okay, where are you? What am I catching bugs for? What's the point? Oh, I need to cook up some of them um, guan, guan dongs. What's that? Caught a lace wing. Cool. Just like me learning all the bugs, and maybe I've got to catch like one of all of them. It's like Pokemon. There's some skulls. Maybe I can have some of them. No, I can't pick any of that up. Okay. I saw you. Yeah, I gotcha. Caught a blue moon butterfly. What's this down here? Woo hoo hoo. See ya. Come here, you. Dragonfly. Yeah, gotcha. Tal Emerald Dragonfly. Yeah. What's that as well? Crab. No, it's a beetle. Lagaday. There's fish. What are they? Are they fish? No, I got a feeling they might be um Jellyfish. Cool. Let's read this. This look thing looks broken. There are parts missing. Should I place something inside? No. Not until we know what we need. Sand dollar. 
Sand dollar. What's that? Might be learning a bit about the outback out here too. Take the stuff. Yellow waffle. Wattle, sorry. Uh -huh. All these things on the floor. They weren't here a minute ago, were they? Maybe I didn't come down this way. I'm taking them all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's loads. All right, let's go cook some of them uh, Kwangdongs. He hits right in front of him, and obviously you got to get it on that little square. Right, let's go cook Kwangdong. You can just put one on a fire, can you? Right. Cooked Kwangdongs. I assume it does more for you. Gondong. Oh, it's like a gondon. Okay. Uh, cooked it. Gondong cooked it. What we got here? What we got? So, this does three and two. This does eight and eight. So, it's much better. Cook all of them. I don't know if they're going to go rotten or anything. I assume being a really child friendly game, maybe it won't. What was that? I saw it. Got you. Uh, I got some meat. Can I put that on there? I don't know. Oh yeah, I see. My health is kind of like not full. Energy is not full. But I'm not out either. This takes a lot longer to cook. Okay. Makes sense. Cooked meat. What are we looking at? Ten and eight. Nice. What can I do with this? I'm going to put that on the end there. I'm going to put all these bits in there. I'll put my bug net there. Oh, actually, no. Swap that around. Yeah. Maybe that can just be number one. Seems like a win. There's a bird. Do you reckon I can get it in my net? Doubt it. Um, right, okay, I guess I can just sleep. She said I can sleep wherever I want. So let's sleep. Call it a day. Yeah, sleep until tomorrow then. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Look at all them bugs I got. You get level ups for them. So you're leveling up individual skills. Foraging skills, bug catching skills, and... I didn't earn any dinks. I guess that's the currency. Dinks. I like that. If you need a bed, Fletch keeps sleeping bags in the base tent. Someone is visiting the island. Quick, get up! Can I not pick my bed up? Can I? Yeah, pick it up. Alright. Uh, let's go. Where's my shoes? There's all sorts of creepy crawlers out here, man. Okay, let's push escape because there's stuff we need to touch. Shell, yeah. Ha ha. Get 50, we'll get something else. Excellent. Uh, enter majology list. Make sure the bugs caught. Okay, visitor's tent. Hello. Oh, it's John. Aha, you must be dude. Fletch told me you're the one to thank for getting this place all set up for me. Thanks for that. I have a feeling we will be doing a lot of business together. I think you're right. Take a look at my wares and feel free to ask me about anything you're interested in. Now, I make most of my dinks selling exotic items back to South City. I guess you could say exotic means any of the items found here on Doodlands. <laughs> so if you find anything, and I do mean anything you don't want, please drop by and show me. I'll offer you a great price for it. Okay, well, more about my shells. How can I help? Sell goods. Show us what you got. 
You want my sh I have my shells. Let's see. All up, I can offer you 80. Hang on. Then. I'll take these items and here's your 80. Oh, I can make a lot of money out of you, I reckon. Sell goods. Can I sell you, like, everything? Is there a way of... Can I shift click? Oh, I can just push on them normally. Okay. Have everything. I'm not going to give you... Have all the bugs and the shells. I'll keep my food. Uh, sell. Okay, cool. Let's save me going it in and out of the menu. All up, I can offer you 10,850. Yeah! I'm rich! Take these items, here's your 10,000. <laughs> I'm rich, woo! Okay, I think I'm gonna need an axe. That's a basic axe. Yeah, I want it. Unfortunately, I can't sell you this until you have a logging license. Come back once you do. Oh. Ah, okay, I'll go see Fletch then. She'll give me a logging license. Entrepreneur. Yep, getting enough money. Next level. Nice, nice, nice. Shellfish lover. Yeah, go on. Making money. Making money. Woo! Hey, Fletch. Ah, good morning, dude. Did you happen to see John set up his tent in the visitor's site? I told him all about you and how you've helped us get started here. He sounded impressed. Ah, oh, stop laughing at me. John trades all sorts of things back to South City. I reckon nearly anything you can find on this island will be valuable to him. He'll buy fruit, fish, bugs, and even rocks. John also sells a lot of useful tools. He's got a mining equipment, logging tools, and even some fishing equipment. Although, probably can't sell you a lot of tools until you have your licenses in order. You know about licenses, right? No. Licenses are an old South City idea. I'll tell you what, you didn't need a license for anything back when I was growing up. But these days you need a license for everything. Luckily, I'm actually an accredited license giver. Give me all the licenses then. If you want to apply for a license, come and talk to me. You'll have to spend some permit points to get them. But if you keep doing milestones, you'll make enough in no time. Are these permit points then? I thought they were like money. As you get better at doing certain tasks, new license levels will open up too. Now, let's see if there's a license you can apply for right now. Yeah, it is. I want this one. Logging license. Allow, chop, let me chop trees. Yeah. Give me the mining license as well. We're going to get that. Let's have a look. What other licenses you got that I can have? Fishing excavation. That's a whole purchase and use shovels. Might be useful. I can't afford that yet. Hunting. That's the craft basic weapons. Yeah, I want, I want, I want them. I want weapons. A wooden bat. Oh, <laughs> really? We're going to beat stuff to death with a bat. A basic spear. A hammer. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, dude, I almost forgot. I noticed John is selling a table saw. That's a tool I think I would will be very handy indeed. I think we should try and make enough money to buy a table saw from John. Here is my half of the dinks. The rest is up to you. How much? Oh, I can afford that. All right, we'll get it in. Making me spend my money. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm good. I'm supposed to go to it. Buy the table saw. Cut wood into planks. I'll take it. She's making me spend money, dude. Okay, I also want a basic axe. Yep. Very good. I want... I want your pickaxe as well. Smash rocks and oars, of course. Yeah, yeah. Ask me questions like, I do I agree with the, the price? You're scaring me a little bit. Okay, let's go see Fletch. Fletch, I got it. Oh, so you bought the table saw. Well done, dude. Don't you think having John here is great? Yeah, dude. If only we could convince John to move here permanently. Hmm. Well, let's worry about getting the materials needed for a permanent building first. The table saw is a great first step. For now, you can have a break. Come back and talk to me when you're ready. Alright. I guess I'll go put the table saw down somewhere. Near my stuff. Oh, wait. Should I put it over here? She wants a permanent building. She probably wants me to build her one. So I'll put it here. Um, okay, so, hang on, let me move my stuff around. I'll put the other food on there as well. Okay, let's, um, yeah, yeah, oh yeah boy. 
Let's go. Ooh. Can I hold it down? Oh, I can. I don't have to beat my mouse. It's all good. Okay. We're getting free per tree. What about the rocks? Nice. One stone. Wait, no, there's more. Gum nut. Oh no, there was just one stone. One stone for one of these big stones. Seriously. Lovely. Jubbly. Okay. Running in. I want to use this. Make me a spear. Craft. I need a plank and a tin bar. Tin bar! Ah. Is this tin? It's gotta be, right? I'm probably gonna need some sort of forge or something to melt it. Shiny stone. Yeah, we got tin. We're gonna clear all this out. Ooh, yeah. Odd tree. Is this a normal tree? Am I gonna get stuff from this? Maybe it's not a gum tree. Oh, hang on. My energy is getting really low. Well, that helps. Uh, I see where energy is going to come into it. Right, okay. See our energy bar going down quite a lot doing this. I'm not cutting trees down as fast. Is that my energy or is there a durability issue? It's like making a bowl on the floor. Okay. Whoop. There's some gum tree over there. What's, what can I do with this? Old key. Old gear. Tin sheet. Ooh. Okay. What do we need? We want to use this. Uh, wait, use this. <laughs> Is it doing one for one? That's terrible. Oh, it puts it in a bag. Excellent. Once it gets so many. Good. There we go. Got more planks. Right, we've got some sort of achievement thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Right, okay, no. I'm ready. Fletch. Town is not currently accepting donations. Donations? I don't want to give donations. I've got another job for you, dude. You up for it? Yeah, of course I am. I'll tell you what. I think camping is fun. But if we're going to convince people to stay here on Dude Lands, we've got to start building more permanent structures. I've noticed there is a lot of tin ore on this island. I mean, I've seen it popping out of rocks all over the place. I know a way we can melt down tin ore into stuff great for building. Now, I'll need you to bring me some items. We'll need one campfire, three stone, ten tin ore. Keep in mind you'll need a mining license to buy a pickaxe tool and collect the ore and rocks. Once you've gathered enough, everything we need, come and see me. I need more tin. More tin! And I gotta make a campfire as well. I can do that in her house. Um, oh, collect these. These are like free money. <laughs> Wood. Chopper. What's this? Looks like copper to me. If any of the other games would go by. Let's tin up the hill. Yeah, it's copper. Excellent. All right, we know where a bunch of copper is in. I don't know if the uh, the stuff respawns. I assume it will do. Uh -huh. Okay. What did I just get some bucks for? I don't know. Not bucks, permit points, sorry. I keep thinking it's like money. Stop it. Okay, give me some more. Give me more. Ooh, give it to me. Give it to me, man. 
Oh, they're bad wolves. They're bad wolves. They're chasing the kangaroo deer. Right. So you've got the good ones, which look all fluffy and lovely, and then you've got the ones that are grey and evil. We stay away from them. Symbol. Right, there's no more tin ore over here. How much tin ore do I have? I've only got five. I should probably take that fruit as well. We really need to keep taking everything we can get our hands on. When it comes to energy. <laughs> There's another barrel over there. Alright. I see, I see. Another barrel there as well. Excellent. Let's grab a look. Smooth slate. Am I getting heavy? Was it my? Oh, okay. Hang on. Energy. Energy's low. Eat it. But hold down the button. Oh yeah, his eyes are opening up. Yeah. Ah, full power. Bad wolf. Where's all the ore that she was on about? It's like, oh, it's everywhere. Yeah. It's not. Oh wait, what's this? Quartz. I don't want quartz. I want tin. What is that? That's strange. Hairy armadillo. Oh, did that hurt me? Spiky bush. Maybe. There's some. Excellent. Yeah, I think we need a, a good one more. Alright. Can I harvest the. I'll harvest that, thank you. Maybe the other ones are not evil, they just look evil. Well, it was a good way of testing it. Oh no, that's okay. Oh, there's some more. I don't know how much of this we're going to need. I figure if I just grab this, maybe one more. It should be pretty good. Shiny stone. Right, let's go back. We can give her the campfire and everything she needs. I assume it's the little red triangle that takes us home at the top of the map. Hope so. I'll have to pull the map out, boys. I might be wrong. Nope, we're good. Lots of old keys. Sat in the water. I can't. You get it. I got it. As if you can dive as well. That's quality. Okay, cool. Let's go build what she wants. Whoa. There we go. That'll be everything she need. Talk to her. Well done, dude. I knew I could count on you to find everything we need. Here is a recipe for a crude furnace. Now, why don't you try crafting a crude furnace at the crafting table in the base tent? Once you've crafted the crude furnace, pop it on the ground outside somewhere. Then, just place the ore inside of it. It'll take a little while to do its thing, so feel free to do some other activities while it's melting. Bring me the tin bar when you're ready, okay? All right, all right, pushy, pushy. Yay! 
Let's go put this down somewhere. Or uh, I think we'll put it down near the stuff we have. Over here. There we go. Alright, so now we'll just put the ore into it. Do we have to put anything else in? Nope, it's just going to do it itself. Epic. I could do these while I wait. Awesome. Alright guys, well I'm going to end that one here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with the next episode soon. So stay tuned guys. Do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care guys. The dude is out.